In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, Bill died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May he now share with him eternal glory. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep believing in Jesus. Grant that through this mystery of death, your Son Bill, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated as we listen to the words of the sacred scriptures. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven over all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth, for the Lord has spoken. On that day, he will be said, Behold our God, to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose, so till too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven, and the dead in Christ will raise, rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. And may the word of God be on our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts, that we may hear and live his message. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, my disciples are your gift to me. I wish that where I am, they also may be with me, that they may see my glory that you gave me, because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Righteous Father, the world also does not know you, but I know you, and they know that you sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them the Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. To Bill Gallagher's family, to his brother Larry in Georgia, his nephews and nieces, Paul and Bobby Sharp, Jeffrey, Linda, and Amy Gallagher Ladd and her family, Amy was the main caregiver of her Uncle Bill for 15 years. To the other great nieces and nephews and those who are gathered in Bill's name, we offer you our prayers, our consolation, and our sympathy. And we share with you your loss. Just as you have lost a family member, so the church loses a family member, and we lose a good friend. So we share with you this loss, but we also share with you something else, something that was very close to Bill, his faith. He believed in the resurrection. He believed in the words of the scriptures this morning. 
He believed that he would see the glory and be with God where he is. He knew God while living on earth and made known his name. He was not afraid to be, show his faith, and he lived it greatly. So we share with you that also. When someone dies, I always like to do this. I, we talk about their date of birth, which was August the 11th, 1936, dash, his date of death, December 5th, 2020, as though the date of birth and the date of death were the most important things. No, that little dash represents 84 years of a life well lived, a very interesting, productive life, and all the people he met, his family, his friends, his faith, all that Bill did in this life. And we heard in the scripture this morning, my disciples are your gift to me. We know what a gift is. What we are is our gift to God. What we become, what we are is God's gift to us. What we become is our gift to God. And Bill brings with him the gift of Christian joy. Yesterday, we celebrated in the church the third Sunday of Advent. You see the three candles lit. Gaudete Sunday, which is what we call Rejoice Sunday. Rejoice Sunday. And Bill had that great gift, that great and beautiful gift of Christian joy. And so that is a wonderful gift that he also brings to God as he returns to him. Bill was born in Philadelphia. And when he was brought into the church for the first time, he was baptized. He became a child of God, an heir of heaven. And we used holy water to recall that baptism this morning. You place the pall, the white covering on the casket reminds us of the new life of grace Bill received at baptism and the new life he now lives in Christ. During this Mass, we will use incense, which reminds us that we are all temples of the Holy Spirit. We house God, and we are worthy to be incensed. And in the preface prayer, we will hear the beautiful words, Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling place is made ready for them in heaven. This is what we celebrate for Bill as we celebrate his seeing the light of Christ. Bill actually grew up in Westchester and his family had a compound of houses off Westchester Pike, Bill's parents and his aunts and uncles, and it was known as Villa Gallagher. It was a fun place to be and we used to go and visit there. Bill graduated St. Agnes Parochial High School, class of 1954, where Bill was editor of the yearbook and showed signs then of his journalistic skills. He was intelligent, friendly, funny, and well-liked. He had many friends which he kept throughout life, and he was a lifelong friend of mine. After high school, Bill entered St. Charles Borromeo Seminary to study for the priesthood with me. Although very deeply religious, Bill only stayed one year in the seminary, and then he attended Villanova University, where he graduated in 1959. Upon completing college, Bill served the United States in the Army secret agency in West Berlin during the Cold War. After his discharge, Bill worked as assistant sports editor on the Philadelphia Inquirer in the late 1960s. Then he worked in a similar capacity in Massachusetts and New York. After being senior editor of Inside Sports Magazine in New York, this ended his journalism career when he settled in Centerville, Delaware to care for his ailing mother. But all that time in New York, he had hobnobbed with many famous people. He used to have great stories to tell. But Bill always remained loyal to his roots, always remained loyal to his classmates of 1954, always attending the reunions. 
In fact, in the last few years, his niece Amy would bring him to the reunions. Amy recalled that he was not only her uncle, but her best friend. Bill was a survivor, having had heart attack, stroke, brain tumors, cancer, multiple complications. He was strong and lasted over the last 15 years. And no matter who met Bill, whether the doctors, the nurses, or people in the grocery store, they liked him immediately. Bill had an older sister, Joan Sharp, who predeceased him on December 8th, 47 years ago. They too were very close. Bill spent a summer with my family in Wildwood, New Jersey, where he brought much fun and laughter. At Academy Award time, we would try to outguess each other on the winners. This lasted throughout our lives. Bill was a very independent person, always having a new place to live. He liked to have a good home. He had a great sense of humor, making everybody laugh. He was intelligent and well-read and interesting and up on everything. He was loudly, hilariously, and courageously outspoken. But above all, Bill was kind, caring, and considerate, with great empathy for everyone. He enjoyed life. During his Army days, he traveled extensively throughout Europe. In more recent years, he enjoyed cruises. He had a full life, enjoying leisurely dinners. He liked to eat out. He spent many holidays with my family and with Amy's. If Bill was your friend, he was a lifelong friend, not only fun to be with, but always caring about everyone, sending cards and praying for them. He was not ostentatious about his religion, but he loved it and lived it very seriously and respectfully. He was a light and example to other people. Amy has said what a light he was to others, and not enough can be said of Amy's care for her uncle, especially in his last days. And she was with him when he passed from this life to the next, to the light of Christ. You know, when Jesus' friend Lazarus died, Jesus wept. He wept, and then he went out to console Martha and Mary over the death of their brother. But when Jesus wept, he showed us that it's okay to cry. There's all kinds of tears. There's tears of sorrow, tears of rejoicing, tears of what has been, tears of what might has been, nostalgic tears. And the thing about tears when somebody dies is, we're not crying for that person. We are not crying for the deceased. We are crying for ourselves because it is our loss. That's what we're crying about. The person is happy. The person has gone to their eternal reward. But for us, it is a great loss. So those tears are really selfish tears because they're tears for ourselves. And then when Jesus went out to console Martha and Mary, Martha ran up to Jesus and said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would never have died. But Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. She said, I know he will rise in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Everyone who lives and believes in me will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said, yes, Lord. I believe you are the Messiah who is to come into the world. Well, the scriptures aren't just stories we hear of long ago. They're Jesus talking to us today. And to those who miss Bill, Jesus is saying, I am the resurrection and the life. Everyone who lives and believes in me will live, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. And then he asks us as he asked Martha so many centuries ago, do you believe this? Well, we know Bill believed it, and we know and we say with Martha, yes, Lord, we believe you are the Messiah who has come into the world. We believe it is you who raised your friend Lazarus from the dead. We believe it is you who rose from the dead on Easter Sunday when we celebrate resurrection and eternal life. 
We believe you have raised Bill to join his mother and father, William and Elizabeth Gallagher, his sister Joan Sharp, and many relatives and friends. Yes, Lord, we believe you have lifted our sad, drooping spirit. Yes, Lord, we believe you will raise us all to be together on the last day. Yes, Lord, we believe you are the Messiah who has come into the world. May Bill's caring, friendly, loving soul rest in peace. My sisters and brothers, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we now join our prayers to his. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For Bill, who in baptism were given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our brother who ate the body of Christ, bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the family and friends of Bill, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all assembled here to worship in faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ, and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated as the gifts are brought to the altar. Thank you, sister.
please stand. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Be near, O Lord, we pray, to your son Bill, on whose funeral day we offer you this sacrifice of conciliation, so that should any stain of sin have clung to him, or any human fault have affected him, it may by your loving gift be forgiven and wiped away through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended, and when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling place is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we, you, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. 
Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with all your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Dennis, Saint Joseph, Saint William, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the religious and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O most merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the whole world. Remember your son, Bill, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To all our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us stand and pray the prayer Jesus taught us, the prayer that unites us all as brothers and sisters of Christ, brothers and sisters of each other, one family with God as our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from all sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, you who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And now let us pause and pray for peace. Peace in our world, peace in our cities, peace in our neighborhoods, peace in our government, peace in our hearts, and an end to this coronavirus.
Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Please stand. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your son Bill, who has journeyed from this world, may by his sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you.
trusting in God, we have prayed together for Bill. And now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see him again and enjoy his love and friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ. I dreamed I went to heaven Lord, we commend the soul of Bill, your servant. In the sight of this world, he is now dead. In your sight, may he live forever. Forgive whatever sins he might have committed through human weakness, and in your goodness, grant him everlasting peace and happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Bill, may the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. And now in peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. <laughs>